Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over my squad, uh, my team. So let's go ahead and hop on into this. I did make some changes and stuff like that just over the past day. Uh, but this is going to be the team for now. I'll be making a lot of changes at uh, the wide receiver position and the tight end on offense. Those are the two positions that will be made, that will have changes made to them here soon. Um, Greg Olson has been all right, but I kind of want to get out of this vertical chemistry scheme. Um, while it does help a little bit, it's not too big of a deal for me. And it really just boosts Andrew Whitworth, which I'm just going to sell here soon. I'll get my coins back for him. And I don't really think I need Julio with the boost. I don't think that's too big of a deal whether or not I have Julio with the boost. Uh, so I'm going to end up picking up probably the team of the week. Uh, AJ Green and pairing him up with someone uh, and then picking up the Martellus Bennett tight end and then I also want to replace this 77 tire 77 overall Tyrod Taylor with the is it 88 I think he's an 88 overall the award winners Tyrod Taylor uh, that will pair up chemistry with Martellus Bennett if I can pair the two deep threats up at wide receiver that'll boost their chemistry and I'll essentially have the same boost of chemistry, except Julio Jones will be out of here, and it'll be Costanzo starting over Whitworth uh, on the offensive line. But other than that, that's pretty much what it'll look like. Uh, but I don't want to spend all my coins. Obviously, I could have all of that right now. I actually have a card sitting on the auction block now worth about 80 to 90k. Uh, so I have a lot more. I have more coins than I'm showing up there, I guess. Uh, but I could have the team that I wanted, but I'm just kind of holding off waiting uh saving my coin seeing what i can do i'm happy with this team right now i probably in all honesty should probably sell julio buy the aj green and then pair the aj green up with whoever i want i'd probably make more sense than having this julio but i like julio so we're just going to be holding on to julio right now but my offense doesn't have a whole lot of coins invested in it other than julio um just because i'm more confident on offense this year or I guess in general, I'm more confident confident in my offense overall than I am with my defensive play. So let's get into the most important part. We'll look at the chemistries here, and then we'll move on to the most important part, which is the defense. Uh, so for offense, we have the power run scheme chemistry, uh, which let me see here. No, get back up to the, okay. There we go. Okay, so the power run scheme chemistry, you can see it highlights who that affects right there. It actually does boost my center and my right guard. It does help that four of, the, or all five, or five of the hero cards actually have the power run scheme. So that actually helps it out really nice. You can get the nice pairing without actually having to, to do anything if you have those done. The vertical scheme, you can see there, that I'll be getting on out of here eventually. Um... I could just run, I believe it's the Kirk Cousins at quarterback, and I could sell that Andrew Whitworth, but for now I'm just holding off, rolling with the vertical scheme on offense for now. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop on over to defense where I have the most coins invested. So here we go. We are rolling the Denver chemistry on defense, which is just ridiculous if you look at this. Uh, you get plus one tackle, plus one power move, and plus one man coverage for the first set. And then for the... Having five, tier two, you get plus one tackle, plus one power move, plus one finesse, plus one man, plus one zone, and plus one hit power. I just decided this was a good look. Uh, load up on Von Miller, pay a lot for Von Miller, but uh, I actually sniped this Brandon Marshall for 20k. Uh, I guess that's not really a snipe, but I got him for two-thirds off because he was going for 30. This DeMarcus Ware actually plays really well, and so does this Derek Wolf. And this is the milestone Derek Wolf. Uh, and it actually has um, decent stats. It actually has a 92 block shed, which is actually the same as Von Miller. Its power move is similar to Von Miller's. Uh, his finesse move obviously isn't. Uh, play recognition is pretty close. Same with tackle. Uh, acceleration, strength is a higher. Speed slower, but that's to be expected with an end over an outside linebacker. But I'm extremely happy with that Derek Wolf actually plays pretty good. Um, uh, plays pretty good for me, and it has Von Miller on the side with him, so I think that pairs up pretty nicely. I uh, haven't done anything with my D-tackles or my ends, but I am happy with Vince Wolfork and Benny Logan. They do seem to play well, and Mario Edwards has some good uh, stats if we compare them here. He does have a good block shed at 90 and a good power move at 87. 
Uh, also has good strength, excel, tackle, all that good stuff. Uh, so he's been playing well for me now. Uh, moving on to my free and strong safety, I picked up the signature Glover Quinn just because I like the look of the card. And he actually plays pretty well. Uh, he's got some pretty good stats. He's got decent speed and good zo and decent zone coverage for me, decent pursuit. Uh, so for now, he'll stay in there, and I got him pretty cheap at 35000 So I thought, you know what, let me add a signature card. And then TJ Ward in here for now because he's got the Denver defense chemistry. So he gets to hang in here for now to complete the five uh, Broncos. Uh, if you wanted to do the Broncos chemistry, you can also pick up a Keep Talib and and uh, Chris Harris. They're both Denver defensive chemistries, and same with the Elvis Doomerville, which is the card I have up on the auction right now that I'm trying to move. Um, I picked him up last night for 70k, and I was like, oh, it's a nice, it's a nice little 30k savings, but he's only a 90. Von Miller is a 94 in the Denver in, with the Denver chemistry, so I just decided to roll Von Miller for now. So. I'm liking the team there, but then on to the expensive part, we've got Sam Madison and Champ Bailey locking down the corners. Um, I like Madison. He's been playing better in Champ, so that's why he gets to hold down the first cornerback slot. Uh, boosted up to a 91 overall, and he actually gets the dual boosted chemistries from both lockdown and pick specialist uh, because he's got both of the chemistries, so he's actually getting... Uh, plus one to man zone and press along with plus one to excel catch and play recognition so he's getting some really nice boosts uh, what I would love to do eventually here is to ditch this Joe Hayden and go ahead and pick up a keep to uh, because I believe he has pick specialist chemistry as well so he would pair up with Sam Medicine and I would have really the no fly zone but Stefan Gilmore playing the fourth corner actually still getting the boost from the lockdown chemistry uh, by being paired with Sam Madison or Champ Bailey uh, so that's nice. So when he comes into the game, he does get a boosted up uh, overall from the chemistry. Uh, so I'm really liking the defense. Uh, like I said, I did waste a lot of coins buying and selling players. I think I cost myself like 50 to 70K uh, messing around and miss buying players and then deciding I didn't want that player. Uh, so that was kind of a huge mistake on my part is messing all of that up. But I am happy with the team now, and uh, we'll be rolling with this team for a while until another card that I really want comes out. It's going to take a decent amount to get me off of this Denver defense uh, because it is really solid. Um, and this DeMarcus Ware plays really well for an 80. Is he an 81 overall regularly? I can't tell. I think he's regularly an 81. He might be regularly an 82. What is he? What is he regular? I can't tell by this. You know, he's an 81 or 82, but he plays really well for a gold card, I guess is what I'll say. He plays really well for a gold card. Uh, and this Von Miller is just a beast. Uh, but I will be having gameplay coming out starting next week, I think. Uh, I'll start doing some online head-to-head -head games with the team. Probably just be full gameplays, but they'll be coming out next week. And then finally, moving on to the least interesting part, we've got Marquette King and Nick Novak as our runner-kicker combo. Happy that I was able to get Marquette King for pretty cheap. Uh, Pouncey is my long snapper just because he's not the main center. Sims, third down running back. He's been doing pretty good in that role. Uh, Tyler Lockett, returner, and then just the basic strategy with having... Speed and the other receivers and the other corners that were good enough to be there. Uh, so that is going to do it for the team. We've got one, two, three, four, five chemistries going. And I just needed one more Houston, which is J.J. Watt, or one more deep defender uh, to get those chemistries all completed. But guys, that's going to do it for the team. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if there's any pickups I should do. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.